On Monday, the nation stops to honor and celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the nonviolent way he fought for civil rights for black Americans. The Kent District Library taking that day and making it a week to reflect on the genuine progress he made toward racial equality in this country. Lots of ways to embrace this very important history. We've got Deb Schultz. She's a volunteer coordinator at KDL. And Dr. Randall Juggs, he's an author, documentary producer, and professor here to share more. Thank you both so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. So, so talk to us about KDL and the decision to make this a, a week-long, I guess, celebration. Yes. So KDL has um, our purpose is that we that we are here for all people. And I took that vision and said, let's make a week and look at what Martin Luther King did for this country and kind of highlight his ideas. And we put together, I contacted Darius Quinn from Quinn Consulting Services, and we worked together to come up with a series of programs that are going to be highlighted each day of the week. Um, and you can find that on our website. And um, what better way to serve the purpose of the people rather than in the in the atmosphere of libraries and to uphold our mission, which is information, ideas, and excitement. Absolutely. I have no better place in the mm -hmm. library. Now, Dr. Tonks, uh, talk about your involvement in this. Um, got your book right here yep. as well. Well, the library Im invited me to talk. I uh, 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 wrote a book about uh, Dr. King uh, called Letters to Martin. Um, I write these uh, series of essays. Um, Dr. King uh, was a global figure. He won the Nobel Peace Prize. Much, uh, and it wasn't just about black Americans. Uh, it was about all Americans, right? So the Civil Rights Movement, it literally transformed the American South. So today you have Honda and you have BMW in Alabama. But without the civil rights movement, those companies would have never invested in. So it's a global movement. And I also, about the meaning of democracy. What does democracy mean, especially in our hazy time as we see it today? So they invited me to come and speak. I'm a local. I wrote my first book called African Americans in the Furniture City, The Struggle for Civil Rights in Grand Rapids. So they invited me to come and join them in this great endeavor. Wonderful. And so when can people come and listen to you speak? Uh, uh, January 15th, yep. uh, weather permitting. <laughs> right. <laughs> knock on wood. Yeah, yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. So the events for the week will start off Monday with sure. Dr. Jelks at the Kentwood branch. Mm -hmm. And we are also um, coordinating with the city of Kentwood, so they will be doing some um, interactions too. So that will be on Monday. On Tuesday, we have Dr. Michelle Lloyd Page speaking at the Granville branch. On Wednesday, we will be showing the movie Selma at the Wyoming branch. On Thursday, Reverend Joe Jones will be speaking again at the Kentwood branch. And on Friday, we're hosting a small book discussion to talk about letters to Martin at the Plainfield branch. Wow. So it's going to be a full week and I'm very excited. I'm very excited that Dr. Jelks is with us. And uh, Darius Quinn has worked so well with both of us to coordinate our, our week and just to, in, it create the enthusiasm that we need for the week. Wonder, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, a week is still isn't long enough to right. really to, to even delve into the history and, and what Dr. King did yes. for our country. But yes. What a great way to do this. Mm -hmm. and, and I love that you've kind of spread it out all over the community. So no matter where you're at, you have something yeah. something to do. Yes. Um, and, and, and then talk about anything else that people need to know. If, they, if there's other things sure. that they want to learn, oh. they want to increase their knowledge, they want to yes. find this book, what, yes. what do they need oh, to yeah. do? Oh, well, yeah. You can yes. go, go to Schuler's. You can go to books and mortar you can, local I, local I bookstores yeah. uh, yeah. is has been uh, really important uh, in um, uh, writing this book so mm -hmm. I, I always believe in supporting the local bookstores and and please and if they don't have it and we are lit uh, GR is mm -hmm. a, a bookstore uh, run by Kendra McNeil I, mm -hmm. I Absolutely, please, by all means, use use these wonderful, wonderful uh, resources and, and retail outlets that we have mm -hmm. in our community. Absolutely, yeah, go to those independent bookstores yeah. yes. and go to the library. Yes. yes, and we will also have uh, books for sale okay. at, his, uh, at his talk on Monday at the Kentwood branch. And uh, one other thing I'd like to point out, uh, 
Paul Collins is a local artist, and he has a painting. <laughs> and, and national artist, yes. not just a local. <laughs> um, and uh, he has a painting that is titled Road Towards Equality that we were able to get on loan from him and display at the Kentwood Branch for our week of honoring Dr. Martin Luther King. But then it will be a travel piece for the month of February to honor uh, Black History Month. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Deb, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Dr. Jelks. Thank, thank you. you both so much for your time. Um, lots and lots of things to in embrace the week of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. KDL.org slash events. You want the full lineup, all the locations. It's all over at KDL. We'll be right back.